said, I don't know, as soon as I stepped up, I was like, come live with me. Like, I'm not fine. Like, yeah, I'll take you with me. Like, it's cool. Whatever. My mother threatened to call the police on her. And I was just like, whoa. Like, I was trying to help you out. You said that she's a bother to you. Like, like, my, like telling my mom, you said Danielle's a bother to you. I was trying to help you out. Why would you call the police on me? And there's been up team. If I'm, my mom always was like, You could have been, been gone. You could have been gone. Like, since the day I turned 16, she could have left. I could have lived with mine. She she would have known mine for years by then, by the time I was 16. I could have lived with mine and everything would have been fine. All of her problems that she, she, that she claimed she had could have been solved. Every problem that my mother makes up and says she has, she could have been solved. Been solved. Like I don't see how the fuck any of the shit she be saying is a problem to her. She literally says that fucking KJ. I mean that Clint's only. I mean KJ's only here because Clint's here. Da, da, da. Well, Clint was gone for three days and KJ was right by my side the whole time. Like KJ is my real friend. Like my real friend. Just like how Maya is, we are as close. I, I met him and Maya on the same time. Or no, I think I met KJ a little later than I met Maya. But around the same time, like. None of this is my mom's fault. My mother has been treating me like shit since I was a baby. It, bro, I literally just talk, I've been talking to my Adana a lot lately, my mom's sister, and she said, like, listen, Matt's girlfriend, her son, actually, I guess she, whatever, she don't care for her, whatever, that's cool, but she doesn't go out of her way, Matthew pays his own bills, all that, she doesn't go out of her way to talk shit about the girl. That's a grown-ass man. Not only do I pay all of my bills, and not to throw money around and all that, but I also pay my mother's bills. You're taken care of because of me. Not even without that included, nothing that I'm doing is wrong. How is going out and shopping and spending my money on myself that I work hard for, how is that doing something wrong? I can go spend five hundred dollars. Oh, she's going broke. Oh, she's going broke. Oh, she's getting going broke. Getting going broke. And even my money manager be like, Barbara, where are you like? Who, who tells you this stuff? She says KJ steals from me, but you think? What do you think KJ doing? Going in the bank with a red wig on and saying, Oh, I need to withdraw all the money from her account. I'm getting your rolling. What? You think Kevin wouldn't know? And how is KJ stealing from me? How? How? Like, how, like, where is she? she look, y'all y'all are gonna laugh when I tell y'all this. Something happened, right, where this my gate got spray painted. But it, it was, they, they had spray painted the, because I'm renting this house. They had spray painted the owner's name on it and, like, said, like, fuck him or whatever, right? So me, always wanting to talk to my mom, telling her, hey, mom, this is crazy, right? Because I had already, I had talked to my neighbor across the street. She was like, girls, this is a big Then I guess the owner had did a bunch of fucked up shit. But I don't, I, I don't know anything about that. All I'm doing is I just, I just rented the house. I don't, I don't know him personally. I don't, I don't even talk to him. I don't know. I'm just renting the house. It's, I don't have to know my landlord personally. I didn't do shit to him. I, he didn't do shit to me, so I don't know. But I talked to the lady. She's like, no, look, I already got it on camera. This is who did it, but we don't know who did it. But this is the person right here. It has nothing to do with you. Don't get upset. You didn't do anything wrong. She's talking about, oh, I like I like the little Lamborghini you have. You gotta give me a ride sometime. You know, just have them have a normal conversation, right? I get out, I, go, um, I walk back to my house and because she has that girl, she has cameras that are right on like everywhere, like everywhere. And so I tell her, I'm like, mom, they, you know, the guy who owns the house is crazy. Like people really don't like him. Like look what they did. <gasps> Your house is crazy. <gasps> No one knows who did it. There's no license plate. There's no face. You can't just call the police. They're not going to do anything about it. And no one died. No one got hurt. It's, they're going to paint it. I don't even have to paint it. They're going to paint it.
date. Like, why? Like, what's the thing? Like, no, you have to listen. You have to call the police. I'm like, Mom, I'm not calling the police. Oh, well, that's how I know KJ did it or something to do with KJ. You know, Danielle, the trouble that you have. I'm like, Mom, the lady even said that it's, it says the owner's last name. It doesn't even say my name. It says his last name. How does that have to do with KJ or me? Like, what? She, she said... She, I said, brother, I said, the owner just told me, like, has, I mean, the lady across the street just told me, I said, oh, and that, that lady, I pray she stays safe, that's what my mom said, I pray that lady stays safe, and everyone on that block stays safe, because of all the bullshit you've caused in that neighborhood. What bullshit have I caused? I be in my house. The only thing that my neighbors probably don't like is because our engines rev. That's it, is how loud our engines be. That's probably the only thing that my neighbors don't like about me. And they haven't even said anything, so I don't even know. No, actually, I, I think someone did just say something about that. I, I don't know. I, anyways. But the only thing my neighbors that have said is, oh, can you be careful with the engines at, at, in, in early in the morning? Okay, cool. But I be in my house. I don't be on bullshit. Like, I, I literally, like, we don't even go in the pool. Like... Oh, y'all bet my mom's a normal mom? Alright. Let, let me go live on this one so I can show y'all. And I've, I mean, my mom have tried to go to therapy and everything. My mom just, once the therapist starts saying like, Barbara, do you maybe think like it's the way you treat your daughter that makes her act these way? Oh, no, I, I don't do anything. I don't do anything. What? And this is the funny thing, y'all. Everyone sees what she does. My managers, my money managers, my friends, her friends, her sister. The only one she has brainwashed is my grandmother because my grandmother lived in Florida while we were living in California. And every time something would happen, my mom would run to my grandma and lie to her and tell her fake stories. And I would never talk to her because I'm like, bro, she, she already got to you. Like, there's nothing I could do. So, that was my whole thing with that. But, everyone knows what she's doing. So, it's like, why do you do it? Everyone knows you're crazy. Everyone knows that you're literally delusional. But, yeah, she tried to make it seem like KJ got the house spray painted. And then when I said that the neighbor said it had nothing to do with me, I showed her his head, the guy's name on it. She still said, no, that's KJ did that or someone who KJ, no, KJ made that happen. And then she, I said, no, no, they said about the, bro, what got me was, I pray that lady stays safe, all the drama you bring. Drama? We don't even do shit. Like I said, we don't even be, we, everyone be hanging out in the house. Like, we don't even go out. Like, what? How do I bring bullshit? Like, bro, no one even knows I live in this house. Like, so, I just be like, I just, I, I told her, I'm like, look, I'm like, I'm, I am i can't anymore. Like, and I even had told my money manager, I told him what was happening. He's like, Daniel, you have to block her. Like, you have to. You can't keep letting this. Like, look how upset you are. And you're not even doing shit. All she, all she does is, KJ is candy paint, okay? And Clint is my boyfriend. It's that simple. Um, everything that she does is she's gaslighting, she's manipulating. She just wants control of you. And she thinks by drawing, make, saying the craziest shit about Clinton and KJ to get them out of your life and she'll do whatever else, whoever else comes into your life when she gets them out. She thinks that's going to make her regain control of you because she knows you'll go live with her. She knows that you'll have her by you if you don't have anybody else. Because that's always how I've been. So, I'm not going to stop supporting my mom because I, that's just completely fucked up. Like, it's still my mom at the end of the day, but just because it's my mom, doesn't mean that I'm gonna doesn't mean that I'm just gonna let her do whatever she wants and, and and talk shit to me and treat me like shit no I'm gonna just ruin myself in the situation you still have money you're still taken care of you still have everything that you need but I just can't allow you into my space because when you come into my space you upset me like it, and it, it, it's even little things I'm not even gonna get into it because it's little things too like y'all have to know all that but like it's just the main things like she she threatened to call CPS on my boyfriend because I said I didn't want to talk to her anymore and she literally said it like oh if Clinton wants to take me away from my daughter I'm gonna 
If Clint wants to take me away from my daughter, I'm gonna take him away from his daughter. Like, what? Clint had nothing to do with it. Clint had nothing to do with it at all. It was her talking shit to me about going to the store or something, like buying myself something. It's shit like that, like. And like I said, I try to be so good to her, but enough is enough. We can't do therapy. She doesn't want to. And let me tell y'all this too. Hold on, I'm trying to log into my Instagram on this iPad. Um, what, before I turned 18, she she tried to like get like make her like like really just be the worst she could which I don't know why because you would think like okay now I can't have control every control and reign I have on her now gets lost when she turns 18 I can't control her money I can't make her stay at home I can't call the police on her when she goes to her friend's house I can't report her as a runaway when she doesn't talk to me I can't do all that so you think like she'd chill out so I'd still be in her life but this just goes to show that it's all about conflict and control with her she was acting out the worst way possible. The worst way possible. So I said to her, I said, look, if you don't, if you don't want to be cool with me and you want to keep trying to control shit that you have no control over and shit that isn't even wrong, like you want to yell about me and my friends hanging out at the house cooking and watching movies and shit, like you want to make that a problem? I just, I, I don't want to, I don't want to be around you anymore. Like, I'm, I said it like this, and mom, if you want to be cool and, and act normal and treat me how I'm supposed to be treated, like how I treat you, then so be it. We can, you can live here, no problem. I'll, everything will be taken care of you. You don't got to pay a bill. You don't got to lift a finger. Nothing, anything that you do is because you want to do it. Even when it came to washing clothes and shit, washing dishes, no one asked my mom to do that. There's been times where I asked her, oh, can you do this? But most of the time, no one was asking her to do it. What she would do is wake up at 4 in the morning before anyone's awake and start washing people's clothes and doing dishes and shit just so that later on she could say, that's why I do everything in this house. And even when Clinton had said, like, oh, no, it's cool. I don't, you know, I'll wash my clothes. It's cool. No, no, no. Let me do it. Let me do it. Let me do it. Then later on, oh, that's why I, you make me wash your clothes and I do everything for you and I just get treated like shit. My mom just wants to feel like she's needed. And this is the problem. I make her feel like she's needed because, no, it's not even a problem. I, I do make her feel like she, she wants to feel like she needed. I do. I need her for love. I need her for attention. I need her for affection. I need her to care about me. I don't need her to call the police on me and call the police on my friends for going out and having dinner. Like there's been times where we've gone out to eat and just so that we're not splitting the bill, I just have everyone give me cash or cash at me and then I, I put it on my card. Oh, I see you brought everyone dinner. Like we can't even go, we can't even post when we're out because she'll send us screenshots. And this is funny, my mom has everyone blocked, right? Everybody blocked and, she's blo and everyone has her blocked but she still sees our pages. She still sends the screenshots of our, of our pages. Hold on, y'all. Let me, let me get onto this iPad so I can show y'all the messages real quick. Hold on. Mama wanted to call the police of my girl Malu. Not my girl Malu. She's freaking awesome. Just like Danny, these, these, listen, some of these young people were misunderstood, you know, people see things from the outside, like when we saw Danny on uh, Dr. Phil, not knowing the whole story, you know, her mother could have manipulated that, the rate, the, excuse me, the editing could have been manipulated and whatnot, or a combination of both, you know, there's a lot of stuff that goes on behind the scenes that basically not only do we not get to see, it's like things could be presented in such a way where the bad guy will look like the good guy and the good guy will look like the bad guy or everybody will be made to look bad or everybody will be made to look good you know that's that's what they do with editing you know it, it helps you to tell the story you're filling in holes you're cutting things out some things that are uh pertinent uh, to the understanding of the audience so people will walk into something thinking that they're going to understand something and walk out either confused or left somewhat empty you have the empty spot in your mind you're like wait a second this doesn't make any sense i feel like as if some information was removed and i i, I you have this unsettling feeling and i knew when daniel bergoli aka bad baby went up on dr phil i knew that something just wasn't right with her and her mom and i knew that there was much more to the story and you know i you know we we, we saw her grow up and everything and i think she's awesome i think that 
that you people who don't like her, I think you're just a bunch of haters. You know, she made her mom appear to be a big, t- a big time Karen. And Danny says that they went to therapy, but it didn't work, which is interesting because she's saying that her mom is crazy and delusional on uh, delusional. And I'm thinking like, well, did, did like either one of you ever get like evaluated for anything to make sure that you're OK mentally? Like, it, are, are you both, you know, healthy? <laughs> You know, I mean, clearly Danielle has been stressed out. And um, in my personal opinion, I think that she's basically holding up very well overall because with everything that she's been through at her age, I think she's was she 18 or 19 now, you know, so it's, it, it, you know, it's just my opinion that she's handling things well, but I might be wrong. She said that her mother, remember, this is all alleged, threatened to call CPS on her boyfriend to have his child taken away. I'm, she said she did say her boyfriend right uh, yeah i'm pretty sure that's what she said because she thinks like i guess like she was neglecting her for her boyfriend you know like paying more attention to her man than paying attention to her mom and this sounds like s- some love and hip-hop stuff like she literally sounds like the mothers on love and hip-hop i don't know why danielle just, just doesn't go ahead and call i'm on up and get that check which say she doesn't need the money well anyways it would be pretty cool to see her on love and hip-hop you know but listen, this is all my opinion. Let me know what you guys think about it below. I'm not trying to cash her outside. How about that? I'm not trying to get my behind whoop. We know that Danny has hands. Her name is Danielle because she'll make you yell if she has to put them hands on you. You know, don't get it twisted. You know, Danny still scraps like she's still in the hood. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. She's actually a really nice person for what I've seen. Her and Mallow, even though, you know, they get talked about like dogs on social media which is just disgusting but this is all my opinion what do i know i'm just a bad baby fan. i can't believe i'm saying that i'm just a bad baby fan with a microphone <laughs> you know so what do i know i need your opinions because you people are way smarter than me you're so much more intelligent than me i'm a complete and utter fool who sits around talking about loving hip-hop all day that's all that i do i don't do anything else with my life except for sit around talking about loving hip-hop because that's what you want to believe and i'm okay with that so make sure you click the thumbs up button, subscribe, and choose all notifications. So let me know you made it all the way into the end of this video. The secret password to say in the comment section, for the record, if you don't want to say this password, you can just say hi. But the secret password to say in the comment section is family therapy. Because, what say? They already did that. So why am I recommending family therapy? Well, because, I mean, what else can I do in this situation other than her cutting her off? So that's the second secret password. Cut her off. Do you think that, okay, family therapy, if you think they need therapy, cut her off if you think that she should just stop giving her mother money. And I have another video that is specifically about the money situation. Well, for the most part, which is the part two of this Instagram live. So make sure you watch that video. I'll try to post both videos at like the same time or around the same time. Anyways, click the thumbs up button, subscribe, choose all notifications. Make sure you say hi, at least in the comments. If you don't want to say the secret password or secret passwords, one, the other, both doesn't matter. All right, y'all.